this next show is literally in the room where you're sitting also tonight. Shut oh. up! 10 p.m. It's called Drunk Family Dinner. Get wow. fucked up, but be respectful, actually. Oh. And please give it up. Stop those feet. <laughs> For Michael Hirsch! Oh. Hey guys, what's up? Hi. Give it up for the twins. Yeah. Bo official boss status. That's awesome. I, I, I had crazy sushi today from a grocery store and now my tummy hurts so bad. My shit is fucked up. And I let it sit in the car, that shit was warm. I'm in shambles. Anyone else having a clumsy ass day on some oopsie poopsie type shit? <laughs> Just me? Okay, cool. Uh, check this out. I just got fired from my job. Yes. Don't woo at that. You guys want to pay for it? I'm an expensive boy. <laughs> it's true. People keep asking me why I got fired, and the answer is, because the jig is up. That's why. I haven't done a lick of work in two years. They finally got my ass. Now I got a budget? The fuck, you guys budgeting? What? I can't even afford room spray anymore, so every time I go to the bathroom, I just spray cologne in there and it just smells like I eat cologne. That's my lifestyle. <laughs> and you guys, it's fine, it's sad, but it's cool. Uh, I just got back from a music festival. Okay, mostly jealous crowd. Or just not so mostly jealous crowd. You guys like music festivals? Right, I mean, you guys like being exhausted in a parking lot? Yeah. I don't really like that. I don't like music festivals because I feel like every time I'm at a music festival, it's just 90% women who are lost. You know what I mean? It's just a bunch of girls running around like, Becca! Becca! Who is that guy? <laughs> yeah, one time I went to this music festival in Italy, and I swear to God, it was just 90% women being like, Becca. <laughs> Becca. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm just playing. I've never been to Italy once. <laughs> That's just what I think those people sound like. <laughs> I did go to a music festival. That was cool. There was a lot of hip hop at that music festival. I love hip hop. That's my favorite genre, obviously. Listen to how I talk. <laughs> My favorite part about hip hop music is I can dance to it like this. <laughs> I'm dumb as hell. I am dumb as hell. It's cool. Hip hop is cool because it's this genre that they have everywhere in the world. Like they even have hip hop in the UK, which is crazy because it sucks there. <laughs> have you guys ever heard a British person rap? Right? It's just some guy like Jack in a hat, rabbit with a bat when they walk to the top team. Wow. That's just dog shit. Honestly, I just fucking hate British people. And you are allowed to say that. That's anti imperialist. Uh, uh, Oh, look at me, I got such a tiny little penis. Oh, oh, oh. That's how they talk. My friend told me not to say that part, but whatever. <laughs> Who cares? What does he know, right? This music festival is cool because they also had a classical music composer, and I love classical music, and I love that that's the creepiest thing about me. <laughs> you guys ever listen to classical music, then you like get a taste for flesh? <laughs> Like you pop on a symphony, then you like want to eat a person. Is this just a me thing again? Okay. I like classical music so much, I got this tattoo of Beethoven on my chest. I bet that's not what you thought my body would look like. I'm working on it. I'm eating sushi. <laughs> I do, I have so many tattoos you can't see them and my mom hates all of them. She told me, she was like, Michael, you're never gonna be able to get a job with all these tattoos. And I'm like, you think it's the tattoos? <laughs> Not any of the other stuff about me? 
No, straight up, I got fired from my last job for posting internal emails on my Instagram story. <laughs> That sucks. Now, I remember I, I got all these tattoos and none of them have any meaning. I remember I got my first tattoo in high school because I grew up in Detroit and you can like do that there on a snow day. And I remember there was like this girl when I got back to school that was like shitting on me because my tattoo had no meaning and she had one of the number 20 and I was like, well, what does that mean? And she was like, it means 20 seconds. 20 seconds of insane courage is all it takes to change your life forever. That's a quote from the movie, We Bought a Zoo. <laughs> Imagine that person telling me how to live my life. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> it's a, it's a, that's just terrible. That's if I was Charles Barkley, that's fine. Um, that's cool, something interesting happened recently. Um, I, met, I met someone who's, who said that they're a sociopath. Like they were tested and that they're on the spectrum of sociopaths. Like, she told me that she was 60% like that shit was an ethnicity. You know what I'm saying? I'm a progressive guy, but I think that's one of those things we could have left as a binary. You know what I mean? Like, you just like doing evil shit. I found out that 5% of American adults are sociopaths. That's the same number of people who are left-handed. For every one left-handed person you know, you know another person who doesn't care if you live or die. Statistically, there's a sociopath in this room right now. Point at who you think it is. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm actually an empath, so can you? It's like I am, I'm on the spectrum of sociopaths. But I'm on the part of the spectrum that's just like ballers and players and shit. <laughs> So in the back, she's like, now! Uh, can you guys believe I'm single? What? What the fuck? I'm a catch. I had a whole lot. I don't, I, every time a word comes out of my mouth, someone is bullying me from behind or in the back or even up here. And it's, it's, it's like that Apple spatial audio book for bullying. And that's not nice. I am single. Now, do you feel bad? <laughs> I had a whole ass girlfriend last year, gone. <laughs> she ruined it. <laughs> and that's what the mainstream media won't tell you. <laughs> is that it had nothing to do with me at all. <laughs> that's true. Anyone here with their significant other? You guys in the front? Oh, nice, how long have you guys been together? Six months. Six months? Damn, I was with my ex for a year and a half. Damn. <laughs> Countdown clock! <laughs> Countdown clock! You guys get into fights? No. Not, no. Not yet. That's how it starts. <laughs> That's always how it starts. No fights, then all of a sudden, you're getting mad at each other for buying ancient Roman coins on eBay? <laughs> Cause that's what happened to me. She's like, Michael, why are you buying all these coins on eBay? Girl, I'm trying to own a piece of history. I remember one time she got mad at me cause I bought the wrong lentils. She was like, I needed red lentils, you bought brown lentils. I can't make this recipe. Girl, I've seen Chopped, figure that shit out. I just watched a woman make a risotto out of gummy bears. You can do it. I believe in you. I was on Instagram the other day and I saw that she's got a new boyfriend, oh. right? And he's the lead singer of a band. A band I like a lot. You guys know the band Turnstile? Okay, for, it's, it's a good band. I can't even be mad, she's got great taste in guys, for real. But I know that when they break up, and I know they will, because I know how she operates that that album is gonna hit hard for specifically me. I know there's about to be a song in there called like Bad Communication. I posted that joke on the internet and then uh, she uh, had her friend text me saying that it wasn't fair that I said that she was a bad communicator. And I was like, you're kind of proving my point. <laughs> I 
gotta get out of here. <laughs> I gotta get a haircut, but that shit's embarrassing. I'm a 25 years old. My hairline is fucked up. You guys want to see it? Yeah. Uh, over there, don't do that. I heard that. What happened to the spatial bullying thing? We, I can't. I can only take some. A boy can only take so much. I went to my dermatologist about it to see what I could do, and she was like, yeah, that is fucked up. And I was like, that is not a medical opinion. She was like, you could do a couple things for that. I'm like, what are they? She was like, first thing you could do for that, you could take drugs for that. And I'm like, that's amazing because I love those. And she was like, also, in case you didn't know, you're not supposed to sleep with your head directly on your pillow. Right, where the fuck does it go? She's like, Michael, what you can do is you can wear do-rags to sleep. Are you guys listening to what I'm saying? I am medically prescribed do-rags. Sometimes the Lord's light shines. You know what I'm and sometimes that light is on your boy. Also, like, if a doctor's giving me permission to wear a do-rag, of course I'm gonna do it. You mean I get to wear the ones I've already bought? <laughs> okay, guys, I've been Michael. Thank you so much. <laughs>